Let's get started a little bit early. So I know. Oh, what's going on, Mr. Graham? All kinds of late today. That's no, okay. So I know I did a lot of things off stream, like not a lot, but significant amount of off stream stuff. So I at least go over that. So I did the gauntlets, which I need to replace these because I worked on them a little bit more. I know, right? Can't wait for that four day weekend. So I did in the recording parts of the session so I can at least uh, sh put that on at the tail end of the video if I remember. Hopefully I do. Um, yeah, I spent majority of the time just making this and making this look nice and i also went back and checked what the concept looked like so like this one actually has this dip in it that's in the concept unlike these which have like just a random face on it because i didn't look at it too hard but yeah uh but i'm gonna change these out then move these about um move the chains and then I'm just going to wing it from there. It's whatever the heck I feel like working on. Yes. Yes. I forgot. I'm sorry, Mr. Grimm. I'm so sorry. I get a four day weekend, which I think I need. I want to just create some art for myself, you know? So like, I'm probably going to do like two or three streams um, on the weekend next week. Sorry, man. Don't worry. I'll lift you up with my streams. Not really. Never agreed on that. It's in the mail. All right. The piece is in the mail right now. Brand new cauliflower, uh, cauliflower crust pizza. Shipping it from Norway. Okay, let's delete this. I also might do some just general maintenance on my my groups here. Name everything. That might be a good start to today. Um. So yeah, let's. comes to y'all smushed and everything. So I'm gonna end up merging all these pieces together. Um, however, if you have all of them with the exact same subdivision level, when you merge them together, um, sorry, lost my train of thought. When you merge them together, they'll keep all the subdivision levels. So like either I can merge everything together right now um, and it'll be low poly and all I'll do is use my apply to dynamic subdivision, which is also in dynamic subdivisions here. But because I have this piece right here that already has subdivision levels, I'm going to raise this because I already did it uh, a few days ago. Um, raise that to five. This should already be at five. So subdivision levels, uh, smooth subdivisions, subdivs is one off from your subdivision level. It's not counting the one that you're on right now. So if I apply this, it has five subdivs levels. So it's just really nice to, you know, kind of do. I'm just gonna apply it for all these. Make sure that one was for it is. And not worried about this. Turn that dynamic subdivisions off for the eye. 
Everything else seems to be okay. And like this isn't going directly from the uh, the concept and stuff. I did take some liberties with it, but like this is my style of uh, stylization. And like if I was in the in, if I was doing this for work, I will definitely try to be more on point with what my art director or boss wants. Since it's a purse project, I don't got to do that. To start, why would I need a safe? You ready for Halo? If he ever answers, I just started, man. No need to save right now. I barely did anything. But thanks for looking out, man. Um, the other thing you need to know about making sure like it merges correctly, uh, is it has to all be on the same subdiv level. So like always put it all the way to the max subdiv, subdiv level. So for my case, it's five. So make sure all of them are on five. That way, when you merge them together, it does a nice, pretty thing. So let's merge, merge visible is going to bring it to a different object altogether but this object is all the parts that we just had different subtools and it has all the subdivision levels that we have and everything is nice and clean kind of don't like this one though so let me go check this out before Sure that my is that is correct. That's two. Oh wait, I think these are supposed to be on three though. Yeah, that looks more like what I wanted. I'm just gonna then I'll, I'll just a tiny bit and. All those little small micro changes I'm doing right now, I'm probably gonna go out the window in a second. Uh, just because once I actively put it back with the rest of the object, I had to do a lot of changes like to match the uh, shoulder length and everything. So let me... What's the button for it? Shift S. Pass that in there. And now that I have my object, I can just like, and of course I put it a little too close so now I won't show up properly. I to turn off double, making sure nothing is broken. Um, all right, delete this one because we don't need that one anymore. And now we're going to merge visible again. And like with this being merged and stuff, I can easily just bring this into the actual file. All right. And then I can edit it from there. So I'm going to save this off as a different file altogether. That way I can always come back and make changes to my pauldrons and what out. Uh, messing them up, which is the same workflow I'm going to do for my uh, gauntlets as well. Yeah, and this was a mix between just regular uh, retop work as well as using um, brushes, IMM brushes to make that. So like for this part and this part, um, the two tentacles, they were made with the IMM brush. For this part, it was just me uh, retopping it and adding the uh, subdivs where I needed them to be, or the crease marks where I needed them to be in order for uh, it to keep its shape and to mirror some of this stuff.
this as well, which I believe I have in the part that I covered. Okay, so now that we're back in this file, how's it going, Z Scott? Shot? Sky's shot. Your name broke my uh, my brain this early in the morning. It does not help that I'm from New Orleans, so like words already don't make sense. 10 a.m. for you, yes. I didn't go to sleep till 3 a.m. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just accept your title. Yeah, you gotta do it for work, though. I don't count. The real struggle is waking up on your off day. No disrespect, Mr. Gary. You know. But how's it going, Sky? Okay, bitch. Now that I have this merged, I can duplicate it off, which I might do. Let me just do that. That way I can always have it and play around with it. Turn this to 90 degrees or something like that. And then just kind of put it where it needs to be. I don't know why I'm trying to match it to the chain, which I shouldn't be doing. I should just be matching it to the shoulder. I feel you. <laughs> like, I'm happy to get to this hair, but I'm also dreading it because I know how long it takes me to do hair. Like, for my Zagreus. Hades character and Ganondorf, they took forever. This should be way easier than Ganondorf, but um, I'm trying to decide if I wanna like, oh, I might do that. Uh, I might just keep part of it sculptural and then the other half IMM brushes to kind of make those wave patterns. So we gotta do some touch-ups here. I want to turn this off for a bit. That way I can see if my shoulder needs to go. But hey, that was my philosophy for a while. Like if you go into my early art station stuff, uh, you would notice that like three of the characters don't have hair at all. <laughs> and I just pretended like, yeah, no, hair doesn't exist. stuff up can I do local sim on these but change uh where is it transform it isn't transform uh, symmetry and I believe it's C not X Yeah, and one of the things I always had to come to grips with was the fact that I understand how uh, black hair works or uh, textured hair works, right? However, whenever I go into like a Caucasian or different ethnicities hairstyle, I don't know how that hair works nearly as well. So it takes me a lot longer to try to create that shape and stuff like that. and it's just one of those things that boggles my mind because you know it's just you don't realize that was a crux before because you have so much experience with your own hairstyle so like you know how your hair flows you can tell me how to comb it and stuff that sort of thing Back 
on Right either. So. But I can't have that pushing directly into the shirt like that. up one more time. It takes up the entire shoulder. Not frank it up just now. Let's make it smaller. That seems to be the right shape for it. This is kind of going off a little too much. So let me turn these off for a bit and actually make sure they conform into her body rather than just floating off into space. when you're moving things sometimes you might get the outside pattern when you're working with something this thin sorry I don't know if that made any sense whatsoever like how this is the inside of the jacket sometimes it might go poking out like it is right there so if I hit on double I might be able to see it a little bit more like you can see how close it is and it's a bit problem if that is poking out and 
you can easily just select the outside edge of it, the inside, sorry. Mask it off, bring it back, and then start moving it to make sure it's inside. And that kind of stuff can mess up your bakes when like a uh, substance painter Okay, just had to make sure. I know I had many of arguments with people behind the whole like, do you mean today, today? And then they're like, yeah, no, I meant tomorrow, but you said it yesterday. Yeah, but it was at like 11, 11.50, so you know. Gotta check. I know he's one of those same people, at least in that regard. That button meant to press X so we can turn off. Just a regular move brush. I can kind of shape it how I want to. Um, it has a very steep learning curve. Um, not gonna lie to you there, uh, but once you kind of understand how to move in the, in the package, it becomes infinitely easier. And um, honestly, if you like go on the Discord and stuff like that, we have a whole bunch of people who are um, who are learning just learn ZBrush just like you. So you know, and I'm always willing to help people. This is one of my passions and stuff. So like this, having that, having that inspiration to teach someone else, uh, something that you love to do is like always pretty cool for me. Yeah, it's definitely more art friendly uh, or not art friendly. I should say it, I mean, then you probably get it. Um, and ZBrush has uh, the month to month thing. Uh, I do recommend that if you want to just try it out. It also has a free trial. Um, I, I I know like it's a huge investment of 700 and something dollars. So if you don't think you're using it for professional um, work, I 
don't recommend just buying it outright. Like I, I do this for work and I still don't own it fully yet. But that was mainly because I'm, I uh, forgot to pull the trigger on it and then they renewed my subscription. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about these because these are going to be replaced anyway uh, let's just test this color out pretty good I love a sale, man. I can't wait for Black Friday so I can buy a whole bunch of games I won't play for a whole another three years. Yeah, that... I, I, I knew that I was going to buy the game. I didn't realize I already owned it. leaning just a tad bit more the side part about I used to hear stories about that of like people who have like these steam libraries that's so large and they come back to games that they haven't played and I was like that'll never be me and now it's starting Move this some more. I haven't played the first one. You can play that co-op. So I'm guessing it's not like Dark Souls co-op where it's a pain and a half to get done. As much as I love Dark Souls, it is a pain. Uh, that's decent. I ain't worried too much. Matches up a little bit more. Okay, well, that's fine for what I'm doing. Now, in order to mirror it over, I have to get rid of my subdivision levels, unfortunately. So, delete lower. Um, I'm gonna mirror from here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. 
um, you can mirror from Z plugin, Sub Tool Master, and Mirror right here, which brings it over to the other side. And then you can reconstruct subdivision levels. So I can get all five of those layers back, our levels back. So C, done. It's all gravy. That's not right. Delete this. Okay. That's not even the right lace either, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. But I am going to thicken this out a bit just because I like something that's a little bit more chunky. For these stylized pieces. I would do the same thing with this piece as well. I think this is it. And what I'm doing is pressing control with the overall inflate. Um, with the scale tool, I'm sorry. I'm pressing control with the overall scale tool, which inflates the mesh that you have. So it just makes it slightly easier and doesn't destroy your mesh as much. I did there, I might have to press it too much. Now let me just put in my other bits back wherever they are. This is one. You know, like maybe that wasn't the right decision just because did it too much yeah, where is this uh, is this the right one it's not even the right one the front of this let me just go around the back to make sure like yeah some parts are sticking up out of it and that's smooth it out yeah, that's looking pretty damn good want to just adjust where these are now got a little bit of separation And I do have the poly paint still on, um, but I want to just check my shape language right now. <laughs> and I got the sniffles. Most likely, I did go outside yesterday for a bit.
that you know text is always trying to kill you I'm going to change these up anyway and make them more like the concept. What do I feel like working on now? Oh, wait, I said I was going to just all this stuff. Wow, did not know that. Thank you for that random fact. Thank you. All right, so one thing I like to do, um, because saving as a DD tool is the smarter choice, but it also renames your very first subtool in here. Um, I like to put a random object, right? So just a plane, put that all the way to the top. So shift, click this button. And uh, whenever we do save, it's gonna reunite, rename this one. But since this one is gonna be so small, I'm not worried about it. And this one is always hidden anyway. So let's just do some general cleanup. with the hair How have you been liking um, ZBrush, Mr. Grimm? stuff which I usually put all the hair stuff in there anyway Days we're gonna have to uh, do like a intro kind of class with you. 
make something super simple but that touches on a lot of things in zbrush already it's this what is this what's the difference between these two well, thanks for joining me and enjoy your dinner They're the same thing. They're the same thing. So why the two? Okay, I'm just gonna delete this one. Top, like inverse and inverted. Um, rifling. I'm guessing you're talking about the spiral inside the barrel. So, what you can do is you can inverse it. However, what I would do is I would make the shape of the rifle, right? I take a cylinder and make that what the shape is supposed to be and then use boolean to carve out the inside of the gun i think that would probably be the easiest way of doing it rather than inversing it but i guess it still accomplishes the same thing i guess mine is if you had already put in work to make the object before so there's many different ways to do it sorry if that did not answer your question I don't know what this thing would be called. I'm just gonna make it like comments underscore. Okay, that's good. do know I tend to ramble on like a mod man. Since I'm trying to like figure it out in my own head as well. Pretty sure that if I were to do this, if I when I actually go into like retopping this, I'm not gonna have this part attached to the body. I'm gonna have it as a separate piece altogether. Makes it easier to kind of break apart my head. Neck. What the hell is that called? 
I was about to say necklace, but that's not right at all. The scarf. There we go. Just delete this. Don't need this anymore. Uh, no, I'm spelling corset wrong. I can feel it. I'm sorry. Don't need these anymore, so I can delete those. I uh, need these. These. Um, let me just delete the top one. Um, excuse you? see if it fixes itself I'm pretty sure I started saving before um, that happened oh let me also close that window So how's it going now? It's going nice with me. I'm so glad you asked. Look at that. See brushes being nice to me today. She's being nice to me, you know? She's very nice. She doesn't abuse me or anything like that. Sometimes she gets a little bit mad, but that's okay. And I don't mean to make fun of relationships. And for anyone who is struggling in that kind of relationship, get out of it. It's not healthy. Make sure you are happy. Um, is this the one? Why are there two of those? I love playing this game of like, why did I make two of these? Okay, that one's definitely the right one. This is old. This is a chain, leave that in there.
What's up? Boy, that sounds great. Um, so I, I am traveling to New Orleans for uh, not the holidays, uh, for a particular reason in the middle of December. Um, and I am going to be maintaining social distancing and stuff like that. I'm going to be by myself with my mom and that's it. We're off in the middle of nowhere. But I have already put in a request of, you know, get me some hot sauces so I can make a hot sauces po' boy. Stay inside, people. This thing ain't no joke. I need to fix that. Um, don't need these anymore. I believe I'm gonna save this as a different file anyway. So. They don't know how much sauce to put on it, you know. It's all lies. So I need this. There is one place um, that's up here near 2222. Uh, I don't know if they're open anymore. I really hope they are. Um, New Orleans Eatery. There's some a couple from uh, Lafayette and stuff, and they make some really good food. I like that. They don't have a po' boy on there, um, but they have like a, a seafood sandwich that's pretty damn good. This thing is stabbing me in my neck. I think Jasmine might have had the bread, beans, and rice. I've only had like two things from there, and that's been the sandwich and their uh, boudin. And I'm gonna leave all this other stuff out of there, except for this one. Just name this all the I don't want to make these. No, I don't. So I'm not going to. This we're going to have for right now. Yeah, man. It's all that grease. It's to cleanse your soul of all your burdens. save this now if I see let's make this as well since I didn't realize I didn't have those finished Like, can y'all hear static every once in a while? Like, it just happened. Okay. 
It must be on my end then. Um, where is the brush I'm looking for? Is it topolo topology? There we go, topology. What? What do they mean? Um, That's uh, oops. and I'm gonna split this off, and I'm just gonna delete everything else. I don't need that. Delete hidden. I might check them out this weekend then. Um, I'm just going to hide everything and stuff for this. Just so it's easier for me to work off of. And even though I put Z retop, it's just a Z modeling brush. I don't know if I said that before. And I'm going to be using the move tools. Thank you for turning on transparency. <laughs> All right, so that you need to stop thinking about food, what kind of character are you going to be in Cyberpunk? Like, I've been keeping my tabs on it, but because I am really excited for that game, I've been making sure that I'm not spoiling myself on too much stuff. All I know is that it looks real pretty. Real pretty. I think I might have watched only like one or two of the dev things.
Look. Uh, let's make these a tiny bit thicker. She looks so evil. Yeah, increase value, turn that up. I did see like one of the latest uh, little trailers that I thought was really, really cool. Oh, was it the run the jewels thing? Shit. Memories, how do they work? So dope. Uh, let's turn this off. This needs to stay on. This can come in there. Why is that the chains there? This chains there. Let's move this chain out. All the stuff that I know I'm gonna need to change later. I'm gonna just take that stuff out. Let's turn this on to flat shaded. See what that um, angle's looking like. And see, look, I'm done. Don't need to work on it anymore. This looks perfect in this point of view. faces I'm double this up
Uh, why did that go there? I must have snap on. Brush doesn't pick the points I want. Increase groups first and then see that still broke it. All right. So this probably needs some thickness before doing what I wanted to do. to this now. I'm going to flip it because it's terrible. to be a little bit thinner.
out a little bit more. Even though what I'm about to do might mess it up. Yeah, it kind of did. I wish there was a way to do it a little bit simpler than that. figure out something like I don't understand why that's the the easiest for it to do because it doesn't make any sense. And I want to add an edge here, I think. Just have that puff out a little bit and I'm going to extrude this interface as well and then hit S on it. Did not do at all what I thought it was going to do. Increase all again. Increase probably group C. to do this by hand. And let's just focus on the actual shape of everything then. point got another little loop here and then I'm just gonna worry about the basic shapes Pretty all right. Let's slide this out a little more. all this stuff at least the top parts Uh, 
That looks good enough. Let's merge these two hats together. Uh, okay. Ooh. Add one more crease level. That's all good. I'm going to apply it and then I'm going to start just doing some regular sculptural work on it. This is such a small part, I'm just going to worry about. One on a group to use. Lazy mouse on, change that radius, which I believe that's what, oh yeah. Turn down the intensity of it.
me set the this one more time. Use the sander brush and just kind of pump up this area. Ooh, I'm starting to get hungry. This is your fault. I probably would have been good for another two hours. I'll probably finish this off for today and then hop off the stream. <laughs> And then the next stream will be completely dedicated to the gauntlets. That is going to be a process, man. In the cylinder. Uh, learn you should do something new here as well. Not what it's supposed to pin. Oh, here it is. Look at this one. And a responsible person would have looked up what the hat looks like, you know, and figured out how it was actually made. Because I'm pretty sure it's more like a loop up here. I don't feel like doing that. Especially since I know I'm not going to see it. It's a sign of a good teacher who tells you what you should do and doesn't actually do it. Do as I say, not as I do.
know why I backed up so far. This down. Let me turn this up a little bit. And now that that's there, I can go through with the standard brush and just kind of inflate around it to make it a little bit more poppy. Make sure you smooth it out as well. So let's just take stock of what things I need to change and I'll write that down on a list somewhere. Here's my sticky notes. change um which i also might do outside of a uh, fisher stream but i'm gonna try to record it that way i can at least throw it in this video or not um what else do i need to worry about uh kind of don't mess around with this silhouette just a tad bit that's fine anything else will come with the hat changes I mean, hair changes. not going behind ZBrush. So I need to change the chains. I need to work on the gauntlets. So maybe I'll also add that part to dissect, dissect the uh, parts of the gauntlets. so glad I took this off the screen because I didn't spell that sentence right at all. Um, yeah, so break that apart. We can also break hair apart. These are things I could be doing outside of the stream that I'll just record because they may be 30 minutes. It could be just an hour and it doesn't make sense to do those on here. Um, yeah, so now all we have is the gauntlets in the hair, which is, oh, that's a huge load off my back. Of knowing that we're almost done with everything too. Let's say something's wrong here, but right there. Yeah, I 
Okay, that's why. Thought something was different with about the eyes. There we go. So, besides the gauntlets, we have to change out the chains, the hair, um, everything else, it's more superficial stuff. And then we'll be at about 80% on everything. And it's just gonna be final touch-ups at that point. Um, yeah, no, this is a good stopping point, actually. All right, so, this is the end of the stream. Uh, follow me on the socials, you know, that whole nine yards. Uh, most things are at Darth Pixel, so uh, Instagram, Twitch, uh, YouTube is Pixel Workshop. And we also have a Discord, which is also called the Pixel Workshop. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah. Um, but feel free to come join the Discord. That's where a lot of the little small chatter goes on. Like Mystic Brim here, he's on there and he's very vocal. And we're just a couple of cool cats, you know? And uh, we like to do art. Yeah. But enjoy y'all weekend. Enjoy y'all holiday. Um, <laughs> and uh, stay motivated. I know it seems hard sometimes to do some things, but just, you know, have fun with what you're doing. And I'll catch y'all guys at the next one.